Okay, so somebody tells you that walking sticks don't grow on trees. I want you to take a look at this. I would say they're wrong. You see? They're just hanging in the tree here. You know, long ones, short ones. Looks like they're all ready to be picked. So a viewer suggested that I put hooks in the ends, on the bottom end, like the foot, and then hang them on a chain or a string or something like that in the tree. Well, I, these here are actually will fit across these branches. So I decided just to go for that. So I, I hung them up and now I'm getting ready to go get my varathane. They're all clean, they're ready to go. We're gonna do it. Getting late in the day, but I probably still got three hours of sunlight, so they should dry. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a bit. So it's getting a little breezy out. Not too bad, you can see the sticks moving. Um, I just had the first casualty. And if you look in the bottom right corner, there's a bicycle and one of my sticks is laying there on the ground now. And believe it or not, it's the lightest stick, so I'm not sure why it bonds at it, but we're going to find a new spot for it. Perfect. So this is the can I'm using here. Nice little varnish. True test, polyurethane, interior, exterior. So I got six sticks there I'm gonna do. I wasn't able to get a screw in the bottom of one of the sticks. So I'll just do it the old fashioned way and I may not do it today, who knows. Um, it's a pretty short stick. It may be better for children than adults. But anyway, so we're gonna Put the coating on, the second coating on the first three that I've already done, and then we'll coat the other ones. We'll see how this works out. They got me just a sponge brush here. Hopefully this uh, doesn't run too much. It looks like it's doing pretty good, actually. Just take my time, make sure it's all good and covered. It's really funny. I should have started at the bottom first. So we're going to switch gears and we're going to do that. And start down here at the bottom and then we'll finish up at the top. And I'm going to take this off just so that I can handle it a little bit better. There we go. Just giving it a little bit at a time. Thin coats are better than a thick coat. And this is leaving bubbles, but as I go, I'm just smoothing them off. And that appears to work pretty well. Just take your time. I always like to say it's not a race. No competitors here.
Yeah, but in the uh, knot holes here, make sure I get really good coverage. It really looks like this second coat's going to do it. And probably if I was to use something a little newer on the part in the form of varnish here, it would probably go a lot better. But a little stubborn in that area. I am going to try it. Try spraying on some varnish. I kind of never really like doing that because it seems like an awful lot of the varnish or paint out of a spray can just kind of floats away in the air. I've always been a little tight with stuff like that. Cheapskate is another word. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but that's looking really good. Just continue to do it. I'm going to show you how I do this first one, and then I'll probably time lapse the second one. Oops, there went a drop. Getting a little too much on the brush. It's running there. Probably still about 70 degrees here. If, if you don't know, I live in Oregon in the Willamette Valley. And it's, we're not having record temperatures, but we're having some extremely well temperature, extremely, let's try that again. We're having some extremely warm temperatures right now. Like I say, it's, not record highs, but a little, a little bit higher than the average for this time of year. That's why they call it an average. I'm really uh, liking how the second coat is turning out. All this worm or bug damage that's on here. If you don't know what that is, check out my previous video. It's pretty, pretty funny how that works. Oh, check that out. My neighbor's gone. So right here, there's lots of little uh, <laughs> worm damage, bug damage. A lot of just overall grooves and knot holes and really trying to work it down in there, but not get too much in it because it'll run out of it if you get too much in there and then you're going to have ugly spots and nobody wants runs in their finish.
And it's surprising how fast it is drying out here with the wind and the temperatures. That's Thor. He's in the backyard. It's fenced. So we leave him back there. Well, Red is out there with him. All right. I think it's time to get it back up on the tree here. Just going to go through here and make sure I don't have any bubbles or runs. We'll have a missed spot there. We don't want any of that either. Looking pretty good. All right, let's put this back in the tree. Perfect. We got one little area here. I'm going to finish up. Harder than it looks. Got a couple other ideas. I also suggested that I use a chain and that would firm this whole process up a little bit. Yeah, we got to watch out for the branches when you're walking around here. Uh-oh. Well, at least it's down by the foot of it. And a little bit of bubbles here. We're getting there. Just about got it. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'll bring you back when uh, I'm done with the rest of them. All right, I just had to bring you back here. I don't know if you can see this very well or not, but oh my goodness, this is black walnut. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a thumbstick and it may be for a shorter person. But hey, I'm a shorter person. Anyway, that's just, you can kind of see the before and after there. Pretty cool looking. Well, that took me a lot longer than I thought it would. This one here looks pretty good though. And this is my thumb stick here. Black walnut. Pretty nice. Sun's going down. Just got done with this one. It's got some really nice color to it also. And I believe 
If I remember right, this one is Madrone. This one, I have no idea what it is. Kind of looks like either fur, maybe maple, but it has got some cool coloring to it. And over here, we got this one. I believe it's maple. This one's got all the figure in it. And blocking the Blocking the light. That's pretty cool. And then this one, I don't know, it's, it's just touching the grass. It looks like it's actually in the grass, but it's just touching it. So, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's the hook. Got some pretty cool ones. We'll uh, bring you back later when they're all dry. Or that's the end of this video. Alright, everybody take care.